Part 1 Discovering 1. The Next Stage of Mindfulness Most of us love the feeling of effortlessness. Some of the happiest times in our lives happen when we flow with the silent music of life. The sight of a dancer, athlete, or bird moving with ease and grace inspires us. What if you could learn to shift into a level of mind in which suffering could be relieved and wisdom, love, and joy naturally uncovered? What if you could discover a reliable way to access a sense of safety and open-heartedness that shifts us out of the confusion we have been so tightly caught in? What if awakening, shifting your consciousness into a more compassionate way of seeing and being, were something you could learn? What if there were an art, a science, and even repeatable methods to live from effortless mindfulness? My experience is that there are. This reality has been reported by ancient wisdom traditions and by many people I've met. And it's possible for you. Effortless mindfulness is both a natural capacity and a skillful way to connect with ourselves and others. It is a way of being mindful from a different level of mind than we are used to. There is more to effortless mindfulness than meditation. Effortless mindfulness is primarily an off-the-meditation cushion way of weaving together contemplation and compassionate actions. Effortless mindfulness begins by opening a natural spacious awareness in order to become more wise, embodied, and creative. A new ethical motivation springs from the realization of a loving interconnection with all of life. When I teach effortless mindfulness, I'm often asked, how do I know when I'm really doing it? What does effortless mindfulness feel like? Each person experiences a different facet of the diamond of effortless mindfulness as it shows its qualities to us freshly each time. A glimpse of effortless mindfulness might initially feel like any of the following. You feel relief. Your mind is wide open and without an agenda. Your thoughts are less prominent or have moved into the background. You are free of worry, fear, and judgment. You are able to effortlessly focus on something without concentrating. Your center has moved from your head to your heart. You are resting as a field of seamless awareness that is outside and within your body. You feel aware from the now and able to be aware of the past, present, or future when needed. Everything seems to be flowing easily, happening naturally without any effort. You experience a sense of joy and well-being not related to what is happening. You are aware from boundless, interconnected, loving presence rather than a detached point of view. You feel aware from non-conceptual awareness, rather than thought. You know all is well, with nothing missing and nothing to push away. Introducing Mindful Glimpses One of my main techniques for connecting and experimenting with effortless mindfulness is through what I call Mindful Glimpses. Many people have told me that this is one of the simplest, most elegant, and effective ways to learn effortless mindfulness. A glimpse is a type of shifting, letting go, dropping, or stopping to allow a natural clarity and connectedness to emerge. Glimpses are the initial effortless effort of opening, surrendering, resting, or turning awareness around to find our open mind and open heart. They are micro-meditations, or rest stops, where we can refresh or reboot our whole body-mind system. A glimpse is not an insight from our conceptual mind, it is the direct experience of the essential peace, love, and wisdom that's always been here. It is a paradigm shift, an identity shift, a shift of consciousness to a new view and a new you that feels true. In Tibetan Buddhism, Glimpsing is sometimes called flashing on awakened heart-mind. A mindful glimpse is similar to a Zen koan, 
A simple inquiry that can't be solved through logic and that takes you out of your conceptual mind and small self. Unlike a koan, a glimpse does not start with thinking. It starts with awareness unhooking from thought. The effortless mindfulness glimpses I offer in this book can be done with eyes closed or open any time during your day. They initially take from ten seconds to ten minutes to do, but they shift you into a new operating system that allows you to enjoy their continuous benefits. The primary way of practicing effortless mindfulness is small glimpses many times. You can see glimpses as invitations to pause and shift your awareness, to have a chance to taste the peace beyond conceptual understanding. Several of my students have told me that dropping into one small glimpse has been as life-changing as going on a long meditation retreat. I have found that different glimpses work well for different people depending on their learning styles. So if one glimpse in this book doesn't click for you, no worries. Just keep listening and try the next one. When we do traditional sitting meditation, it can take a long time for the mind to settle. In contrast, here's an example to give you the direct experience of the immediacy of a glimpse. Glimpse. Wordless Awareness 1. Allow your awareness to move from hearing these words to hearing the sounds around you. Now shift from hearing sounds to an interest in the open, objectless space all around. Rest into this alert, wordless awareness. After you have heard the mindful glimpses in this book, I suggest you record the ones you like best in your own voice, at a pace that seems right for you, and then listen to your own voice lead you home. You may not know that you know this already. When I describe effortless mindfulness, some people tell me they've had this feeling walking in nature, playing music, gardening, making love, driving a car or during a special moment in their past that they long to return to. Many of us have been intuitively practicing some form of effortless mindfulness throughout our lives, while being creative with loved ones or while playing sports. And some of us have experienced it when we suddenly become calm and clear during a crisis. For example, we may have shifted into effortless mindfulness while hiking with friends. While hiking, we may notice that as soon as we reach the summit of the hill, our goal-seeking stops for that moment. Our identity as a seeker relaxes as we look at the sky and feel our awareness and mind open into it. We might look at our friends and feel a sense of connection and open-heartedness. We feel fully present, with no problems to solve and nothing to push away. We look at the trees and feel connected and part of nature. Our separate sense of self relaxes to reveal a wordless experience that rests in a place of all is well. At times like these, we feel freedom, clarity of mind, joy, connection to nature and other people, and a sense of well-being. However, we often associate these enjoyable qualities with an activity or place, without realizing that the source is already available within us. Because we don't always know that the source of our joy and freedom is already available to us, we might later say, I missed that incredible feeling I had while hiking last week. I'll have to wait until my next vacation to return there. Yet if we try to recreate an experience by doing the same activity again, our expectation may keep us from relaxing the seeking mind enough to allow effortless mindfulness to be revealed. Without knowing it, most of us do our favorite leisure activities to experience effortless mindfulness and its natural qualities of freedom and joy. We do what we love to experience effortless mindfulness. However, effortless mindfulness and its qualities are not dependent on what we do or where we are. So, even at work or in the New York City subway, we can discover the inner freedom, love, and clarity that are who we truly are. Glimpse. Memory Door. First, listen to this mindful glimpse. Next, 
Choose a memory of a time you felt a sense of freedom, connection, and well-being. Then do this mindful glimpse using your memory as a door to discover the effortless mindfulness that is already here now. 1. Close your eyes. Picture a time when you felt well-being while doing something active, like hiking in nature. In your mind, see and feel every detail of that day. Hear the sounds, smell the smells, and feel the air on your skin. Notice the enjoyment of being with your companions or by yourself. Recall the feeling of walking those last few yards toward your destination. 2. Visualize and feel yourself as you have reached your goal and are looking out over the wide open vista. Feel that openness, connection to nature, sense of peace and well-being. Having reached your goal, feel what it's like when there's no more striving and nothing to do. See that wide open sky with no agenda to think about. And then simply stop. Feel this deep sense of relief and peace. 3. Now, begin to let go of the visualization, the past, and all associated memories slowly and completely. Remain connected to the joy of being that is here, within you. 4. As you open your eyes, feel how the well-being that was experienced then is also here, now. It does not require you to go to any particular place in the past or the future once it's discovered within and all around. Effortless mindfulness is like a flow state. Effortless mindfulness is not only experienced during meditation or relaxation. When we open into it, we find a new balance between being and doing. In this age of multitasking, Effortlessness may be hard to understand, let alone value. There is a Chinese phrase, Wei Wu Wei, often translated as effortless effort or effortless doing, which is activity that is natural and in harmony with everything. In Tibetan Buddhism, effortless mindfulness is sometimes called non-meditation because we discover the spontaneous flow of wisdom and action. Effortless mindfulness is compatible with an active, engaged life, since it can be practiced with eyes open, anywhere. You can look out your window at work and, in a few minutes, shift from a sense of feeling worried or fearful into effortless well-being and compassionate connection. You can return to your activity, now operating from effortless mindfulness. You may know a form of effortless mindfulness as being in the zone or in a flow state. Flow is one of the most important areas of research in contemporary psychology. Many of us consider flow an optimal way of functioning while doing complex tasks. In 1990, psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, Ph.D., published his seminal book, Flow, The Psychology of Optimal Experience, based on years of research. Csikszentmihalyi and his team studied the way people engage in sports, art, music, scientific research, and other tasks in order to enter a state of flow. Csikszentmihalyi points to these seven qualities of flow. Knowing that an activity is doable, that our skills are adequate to the task, being completely involved in and focused on what we're doing, a sense of ecstasy, great inner clarity, knowing what needs to be done and how well we're doing, a sense of serenity, no worries about oneself, a feeling of going beyond the boundaries of ego, timelessness, being thoroughly focused on the present so that hours seem to pass in minutes, intrinsic motivation, whatever produces flow becomes its own reward. Most people master the task they are good at to enter the flow state, but in effortless mindfulness, we first shift into an integrated flow state, and then we can do any task from heart knowing. Glimpse from your heart. 1. Pause. Notice your next out breath. Then, with the next in breath, 
let your awareness move from your head down to your heart. 2. What is it like to know from your heart? Introducing Awake Awareness To practice any form of mindfulness, we shift our awareness and level of mind to see things differently. Deliberate mindfulness uses attention and our observing mind, whereas effortless mindfulness comes from a particular level of mind and awareness that is not as familiar. Among other names, this unique level of mind and awareness has been called source of mind, nature of mind, unity consciousness, natural awareness, true nature, optimal mind, and heart mind. I will call this level of awareness and mind awake awareness. Awake awareness is the foundation of knowing, like the quantum field from which individual particles of thoughts or waves of feelings appear. Awake awareness is formless and contentless, yet knowing. At first, awake awareness feels like the absence of thought and an opening into more space. Then, we notice an alertness, a clarity, and a feeling as if we are aware from the open space. It's not the same experience as knowing from thought, and it does not feel like I am aware. It is more as if we've shifted into an awareness that is already awake by itself, without our help. This is why it is called awake awareness. Here's a deeper look at what awake awareness is and isn't. Awake awareness is our primary level of knowing, which is prior to thinking, includes thinking, and is also beyond thinking. Awake awareness is not an altered, transcendent, or even a meditative state. It is not attention, and it's not mindful awareness. Neither is it mindlessness or zoning out. There are many types of consciousness, patterns of experience, such as emotional consciousness, hearing consciousness, and thinking consciousness. Awake awareness is what makes consciousness conscious. Thoughts, feelings, and sensations are dancing patterns made of awake awareness. Awake awareness is clear and open, resting as peace of mind, while trusting that information of insight will come when needed. Awake awareness is the same in all of us, yet our individuality arises from it. Rather than looking to our thoughts, memories, personality, or roles to identify ourselves, through effortless mindfulness, we come to know awake awareness as the primary dimension of who we are. Once we experience awake awareness as the foundation of our identity, we experience our conditioned thoughts, emotions, and sensations as waves within the ocean of our life. Awake awareness cannot be harmed by any strong emotional state. In other words, awake awareness is the source from which all emotional states arise and are experienced. We don't have to leave or change our feelings to find essential well-being. Awake awareness is non-conceptual, invisible, formless, boundless, and timeless. Yet it is our optimal level of knowing and the foundation of our identity. It is experienced in those times when we peek beyond the veil of our conventional experience and notice the silence that is the fabric of our everyday reality. Awake awareness unfolds into open-hearted awareness, and then the natural qualities of well-being, compassion, and intuitive intelligence are revealed. Awake awareness is the most important discovery we can make on our path of effortless mindfulness. However, in this approach, awake awareness is not the end goal and we do not seek to remain in a detached witness state or a state of pure awareness. Instead, awake awareness will unfold into awake awareness energy embodied and into open-hearted awareness. Similarly, as we will explore later in this book, effortless mindfulness could be called effortless mindfulness embodied or effortless heart mindfulness as we learn to live an awakened life. Glimpse. Background Awareness. 1. Take one slow, deep breath. 2. Let out a sigh. 
3. Now let your awareness open to discover the background awareness that is already effortlessly awake and aware without your help. 4. Notice that you can effortlessly focus from this background awareness. The practice of effortless mindfulness begins as a simple shift or letting go to discover a naturally awake awareness that is already present all around and within us. One of my students described the experience like this. I'm not aware of an open mind and an open heart. I'm aware from an open mind and heart that is connected to everything. When we tap into this feeling of viewing from our wordless awake awareness, it opens us to a relief from suffering, natural joy, and compassionate connection with people and the world around us. We have been taught that our intelligence, identity, and safety are based on developing and being centered in thought-based knowing, or what I will call our small mind. When we shift from our small mind to awake awareness as the source of mind, we discover that we are already effortlessly mindful. Effortless mindfulness is the way of knowing, creating, and relating from awake awareness. Although effortless mindfulness begins by letting go of everything, we ultimately become embodied, energetic, loving, and fully human. Glimpse Eyes of Awareness 1. With a soft gaze, simply see what is here in front of you. 2. Notice the awareness that is looking through your eyes. 3. Now close your eyes and notice the same awareness that was looking out is still here. 4. Simply rest as this wordless awareness, which is now aware of itself. 5. Without creating a thinker, be the awareness that welcomes and includes everything. Why we haven't discovered our greatest natural gift. You might be asking, if awake awareness as the source of effortless mindfulness is already here, why haven't I discovered it yet? This is a good question. One reason why we don't discover it is that we don't have awake awareness on most of our Western psychological maps. Many people who have longed and strived to be free of suffering have missed awake awareness. Not because they lack desire or commitment, but because they didn't know what to look for or where to look. The Shangpa Kagyu tradition of Tibetan Buddhism gives four insightful reasons we don't naturally discover awake awareness, which I find quite helpful. 1. Awake awareness is so close that you can't see it. 2. Awake awareness is so subtle that you can't understand it. 3. Awake awareness is so simple that you can't believe it. 4. Awake awareness is so good that you can't accept it. Let's take a closer look at each of these. 1. So close that you can't see it means that awake awareness is hidden in plain sight. It is closer than our own breath. We can't find awake awareness because awake awareness is not an it. Awake awareness is neither an object nor a thing that can be seen, heard, touched, smelled, or tasted. It isn't a thought, emotion, image, belief, feeling, or even energy. Awake awareness is invisibly inherent within us and is where we're looking from. We need to learn how to have awake awareness look within, turn around or rest back, so that awake awareness can discover itself. Then awake awareness is the source of mind from which we are able to perceive. 2. So subtle that you can't understand it means that we can't know awake awareness with our thinking mind. Neither the five senses, the thinking mind, the ego, the will, the imagination, nor attention can know awake awareness. Just as the eye cannot hear sounds, thinking and attention cannot know awake awareness. Only awake awareness can know awake awareness. Awake awareness is experiential. It is a more direct way of knowing that is beyond thought or prior to thought. 
although it can utilize thought when needed. What you'll discover as you do mindful glimpses is how to separate awake awareness from our thinking mind and have awake awareness know directly without using conceptual knowing. Three, so simple that you can't believe it, because once it's discovered, awake awareness is natural and not complex. The only thing that makes it seem difficult is that it's unknown until it's discovered. Many people who are looking for spiritual fireworks are surprised when the aha moment holds no drama. However, you feel free of suffering, free from worry about worry, free from fear of fear, and free from anger at anger. This simplicity is why, in Zen Buddhism, awake awareness is often called ordinary mind. Four, so good that you can't accept it because you didn't need to earn it, develop it, or be good enough to get it. It's hard to believe that the well-being, innocence, and basic goodness that you've been looking for is who you truly are. Awake awareness is deeper than any shame-based feelings or long-held beliefs of being worthless, wrong, bad, stupid, or unlovable. You can begin to feel an inherent sense of safety and support that you have previously been looking for in things, people, and achievements. It relieves you of the pressure to try to do things perfectly or become somebody someday so that in the amorphous future you will be okay. Discovering awake awareness as the source of mind and the foundation of our identity is such a precious feeling that some people have tears of joy upon finally feeling it. You get to come home to who you have always been. Glimpse The Peace Within What is here now, if the peace you are seeking is already here? Awakening as the Next Natural Stage of Human Development The way of effortless mindfulness is one approach to living from awareness and compassion. Effortless mindfulness begins as a meditation practice, but becomes a holistic way of sustaining our most optimal way of living, the shift that has traditionally been called awakening. It's a term shared by many religions, used by spiritual teachers, and studied by historians. In the introduction, I defined awakening as a shift and upgrade of awareness, mind, and self. A fuller definition of awakening is moving from our current limited mind and small self to a new, upgraded operating system of optimal mind and expansive, interconnected self. The term awakening is an apt one because people who have had the experience report that it resembles waking from a dream. We spend much of our lives sleepwalking while hoping the project of improvement and developing our separate sense of self will help us feel happy and connected. When we wake up from this daydream, we may be surprised to realize that our limited perspective is only a small part of a vaster reality. Awakening may seem like a distant, unattainable goal or a lofty challenge, but it's no more unreachable than any other stage of learning and growth that you've already lived through. Awakening is not limited to those of us who join a monastery, live in a cave, or are Olympic athletes of meditation. After working with thousands of meditation students and psychotherapy clients, as well as colleagues who teach meditation, neuroscience, and developmental psychology, what I've learned is this. Awakening is the next natural stage of human development. There are many ways to awaken. Some are spontaneous and may occur during a time of great peace and connection with a beloved or with nature. Some occur during a time of heartbreak and hopelessness. And more than one person has told me that as they were having a breakdown, they had a breakthrough. However it happens, the small mind and small self reach their limits, and awake awareness shines through. Effortless Mindfulness is a practice that leads to and supports awakening. Initially, we wake up from the small mind and small sense of self and into awake awareness as the boundless ground, the unity of the infinite and the finite. Then we wake into an embodied interconnected feeling of flow and being home. Then we wake out 
to natural, creative, and compassionate activity and relationship with others. I believe that awakening is a natural stage of human development and that we need to humbly and honestly share stories with each other about our own growth in this regard so that we can open the conversation and normalize this concept in our culture. For me, initial awakening was a radical shift to uncover an essential dimension of well-being, a feeling that everything is ultimately okay, that who I essentially am is okay. This realization is nothing like imagination, belief, or a temporary meditation state. Although awake awareness is invisible, the knowing that all is well is as real and intimate as the feeling of my body breathing. What is revealed with awakening is a sense of interconnection with everyone, and a realization that we are essentially the same. It feels like unconditional love. And if there are no circumstances that could change this emotion, the new view is from the tender-hearted presence that is here, even when challenging things are happening. Over the years, with consistent practice of effortless mindfulness, this foundation of freedom, well-being, and unconditional love has become the new normal for me and many of my colleagues and students. With practice, it can become yours as well. The way of effortless mindfulness is practiced through small glimpses of awake awareness as a way to fine-tune our consciousness in the midst of our day. When we get caught in thought, we can learn to return and train to remain as our awakened nature. After a series of small glimpses, many times effortless mindfulness becomes second nature. We trust the feeling of knowing and taking from what feels like a continuous intuition. We know by heart, without the paralysis of analysis, like gliding down the hill on a bicycle with our hands off the handlebar. Glimpse. How to do not doing. Can you let go into the awake awareness that is resting deeper than sleep, yet wide awake? On our way to effortless mindfulness. As in any learning practice, there are obstacles, traps, or points of difficulty that everyone encounters. One of them is our doubt, thinking something like, other people are getting it, but I'm not. However, the interesting thing about effortless mindfulness is that your doubting part, your sincere effort-making part, and your thinking mind will never get it. If you think, I will never get this, in some ways, you are correct because the I that is trying to get it can't. If you had never ridden a bicycle, I could describe how to ride. Put your left leg on the left pedal, then swing your right leg over the bike, push off, and begin to move before you put your foot on the right pedal, and then pedal as you try to balance and keep your hand steady on the handle grips. It can make some sense, but it's only when you get on the bicycle start riding and get a feel for it yourself that you will know balance and effortless riding. Ultimately, you don't need to intellectually understand how to do effortless mindfulness any more than you need to understand the physics behind how your body balances when you ride a bicycle. You need only to shift into awake awareness as the place of knowing. From there, the knowing will teach itself. Try the following mindful glimpse to experience these teachings more fully. Glimpse. Relax the problem solver. To begin this glimpse, start from wherever you are. Notice the sense of me that is here now. Notice the feeling of having a sense of self as a doer or problem solver. The small sense of self keeps its centrality by being a problem solver. It can be helpful in solving everyday problems, but it is mainly trying to solve the problem of identity, which it can't do. This manager part is usually felt within your body looking out of your eyes. Notice the location, shape, size, and feeling of this me that is trying to be helpful and undertake this mindful glimpse. It usually has thoughts and worries like, am I doing it right? Or, I don't think I will get it. Or, how do I do this? The goal is not to escape everyday problems, situations, or issues that need to be dealt with, 
instead. Experience what it's like to step out of the problem-solver identity. Relax this manager and notice what's here. When awareness looks directly, notice what changes. What is absent and what new qualities arise? What is the new feeling of what or who is here? 1. With open or closed eyes, ask yourself, What is here now when there is no problem to solve? 2. Let your awareness unhook from the problem solver. Drop, open, feel within and all around. Who is here? What is aware? What is here when there is nowhere to go and nothing to do? Nothing to know or create or become? What is here just now when you are not the problem solver? What is here when you are not orienting by thought? You are not going down to sleep and you are not going back to daydream. Just feel. What is this? 3. Now ask yourself, what's aware now? when there is no problem to solve. 4. Feel the qualities that arise. What's absent that was here a few minutes ago? What natural qualities are here now? 5. Where are you aware from? What is this feeling of being? 6. Now, from fresh beginner's mind, inquire. What's here now? when there's no problem to solve. In the next chapter, we will look more closely at what is unique about effortless mindfulness by comparing it with the more well-known form of deliberate mindfulness.